Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. Like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when new content comes out. Welcome back YouTubers. Today uh, I got a 2005 um, Hyundai Tucson. Okay, this one has the 2.7 2.7 engine b6 so i'm going to show you the easiest way how you can change this altimeter i've seen videos where they have to remove the axle and a couple of things but uh the way i'm going to show you uh you don't have to remove uh none of those things so i'm just going to show you what you're going to remove okay the first thing you want to remove is your wheel Just make sure um, you race the car, okay? Now, the second thing, once you have this cover that, the second thing you want to do is remove your belt, put it to the side. Once you have done, everything is going to be done on the bottom. Okay. As you guys can see, I already have the alternator inside, okay? All right, so <clears throat> things that you need to remove. You need to remove this bracket. It's right here. It's hold by a 10, okay? This bracket here, okay? Now, the second thing you wanna do here, you wanna remove the nut that goes right here. That's a 14. Once you have removed the nut, uh, not just remove it, just lose it. Push that in, okay? And then once you have loosed that, you want to come in the top and you're going to remove the bracket where the alternator holds to it. That's going to be in the side like this. And it's going to have this bolt on the middle. Okay. And that's it. Then after that, you're going to be available. Um, but actually, yes, you're not going to be available to um, remove that alternator. Reason being is that bolt is going to hit on the bracket that holds that CV axle. So I have removed the two bolts that holds that bracket. Once you remove that, then you can just pry it out. Just pry it out, and then you should be available to move that Um the bracket so i'm going to show you how this alternator is going to come out so you guys can see how you're going to get it out without touching anything of this anything okay what i mean anything axle is still intact sway bar is still intact tie rod is still intact the only thing i did was remove this put that to the side and um lose that alternator so i'm gonna remove the alternator real quick so as i mentioned this bracket here i have removed this bracket already see this bracket here i have removed this bracket once you remove this bracket with a two bolt what you want to do is see now you have access to that bolt see the bolt right there you can pull it out now through here okay now um the alternator is on the limbo real quick how the alternator is going to come down so once you remove this alternate the bolt what you want to do is you want to bring the alternator here remember it's on the bracket so we need to move it out okay once you move it out you want to bring it straight like that Bring it over like this. Okay. Bring it down. And voila. There. Then kind of go this side here. It's kind of a there. Okay. There we 
you go. All right. So there's your alternator out. As you can see, I didn't have to take anything that what they're talking about. See, this is intact. Sway bar is intact. See if the axle is intact. So the only thing I had to remove was that bracket up here. Okay. So you move that bracket to the side. And then that's where the, the alternator goes through this thing here, the bolt. All right. So as you can see, I didn't make no magic here. All right, so that's how you gotta, you gotta pull it out. Same thing. See if I can show you back again how it's gonna go in. See if I can show you. So, you're gonna go like this. Go in here. Make sure, see, make sure that this points out this way. Okay, and then go in here. There we go. So it goes in, kind of go sideways like this, and voila, it's in. There we go, guys. Okay. So it's in. There, just put a... Put it right between that and your bolt, of course, is going to come from that side. From the other side, it's going to come this way, like that. So let me show you real quick from the inside how I'm going to do that. So pretty much you want to come from the other side. Okay guys, as you can see, the alternator, just gotta put the bracket in the top. As you can see, that's where the bracket goes. And put everything back the way it was. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe so I can put more content. And I keep doing this for you guys. Okay, God bless you.